Okay, in this video, we're going to explore the idea or the concept of decision making under uncertainty. And we're going to explore decision making using um, different criterion um, to help us understand how we can make decisions in the face of uncertainty. So here's our question. So let's dive right in. You are the content manager at Cloudy Day Studio in Toronto and are responsible for reviewing YouTube pitches and deciding what content ideas the studio should invest in and produce. Uh, you recently have received three proposals for a new YouTube series, each distinct in their genre, a DIY home improvement series, a van life vlog series, and a cooking show. The potential ad revenue for each series is shown below in table one and are based on upcoming market conditions. So this is our table one here. Expre expected profit for a YouTube series based on market conditions given in millions of dollars. So we can just break this down. We have our different version or different kind of themes or genres. That's DIY, van life for cooking. And then we have various market conditions, market A, B, and C. You you know, what those A, B, and C stand for exactly, kind of irrelevant to this question. Either way, what we're trying to get across is that there are different market conditions uh, for which we are unsure which market condition will prevail. And then we're asked four questions. So um, apply an optimistic decision criterion to make your decision and show your work. Apply a pessimistic decision criterion apply an equally likelihood decision criterion and apply the mini max regret decision criterion. So we can go through all of these, but let's first um, just use some keywords here. So optimistic decision criterion, what we are looking at is in this case, what's called the maxi max. So when we're looking for an optimistic uh, decision criterion, we're looking at the maxi max. Um, in other words, we're finding the alternative that maximizes the maximum outcome for every alternative. And we'll go into that in a minute. A pessimistic decision criterion is also known as the maxi min. And in this case, we're looking to find the alternative that maximizes the minimum outcomes for every alternative. The equally likelihood criteria. Decision criterion, that's nice. We're just going to find the alternative with the highest average outcome. And then our mini max regret decision criterion, um, we're going to minimize the maximum regret. And um, we'll talk more about that in a minute. So let's start with uh, question A. So we'll just put question A right here. And let's just, for the sake of um, ease, let's just repaste our table right here. So in A, um, what we're looking for is we are looking for the maxi max decision criterion. And in this case, we need to identify the maximum payoff in each row. And then we're going to select the alternative that high, has the highest of the maximums. So for each specific genre, we are going to select the maximum payoff. And remember that this table is in uh, expected profit of millions of dollars. So in fact, yes, we're looking for the highest number. So for DIY home improvement, the market condition that has the maximum payoff is 12 million. Um, van life, the maximum payoff is 14 million. And for the cooking show, the maximum payoff is 11 million. Now, when we stack all these up, we can just look at this and say, well, what's the maximum for each genre? Well, we have 12 million for DIY, 14 million for van life, and 11 million for the cooking show. So, to this end, our maximum, our alternative that maximizes the maximum outcome for every alternative is van life. So therefore, um, using the optimistic decision criterion, let's 
also known as the Maxi Max. You would select Van Life. Okay, easy enough. Now, what about, let's just do this again. What about B? So B, what were we looking at? Well, B, we were looking at the pessimistic, pessimistic decision criterion, also known as the maxi-min. And when we apply the pessimistic criterion, um, effectively, we're looking to identify the minimum payoff for each alternative. And then we're going to select the alternative that maximizes our minimums. Okay, so what that means is that for each alternative, so for each one of our different genres, we're going to identify, well, what is the minimum Payoff. So DIY, our minimum payoff is 9 million, since 9 million is less than 10 million, is less than 12 million. For van life, our minimum is 7 million, and that's if market conditions B happen. And for the cooking show, that is um, 8 million. And then we can go and we can just, where we wrote our max last time, let's just write our min this time. So our minimum for our DIY is 9 million. Our minimum for van life is 7 million. And our minimum for our cooking show is 8 million. Well, so we found the minimums. Now we need to emphasize that we're looking for the maxi min. So this is uh, therefore using the pessimistic criterion, that's the maxi min. You're going to select the maximum of the minimums, which of course the maximum of the minimums here is 9 million. So you would select the DIY home improvement. Okay. Apply the equal likelihood decision criterion to make your decision. Okay, so let's just do this. So again, let's just make it easy on ourselves and we'll just repaste the, um, the, the table just to make it easy. So this is C and this is the equally likely. And effectively, all you're doing in the equally likely scenario is you're saying you're going to find the alternative with the highest average outcome. So all we're going to do is we're going to take the row average or the average of each scenario across all market conditions. So the average of DIY. So DIY average is simply equal to nine plus 10 plus 12 divided by three. Nine plus 10 plus 12 divided by three gives us 10.33. Our van life is equal to 14 plus seven plus 10, again, divided by three. Again, this gives us 10.33. 
and our cooking show is equal to 11 plus 10 plus 8 divided by 3, which gives us a value here of 9.66. So all we're looking for here is what is the highest average outcome, in this case, van life and DIY home improvement. So um, therefore, using equally likely uh, you would select, you would be indifferent to either uh, DIY or van life. Okay, and then finally, our fourth question here, or question D, says apply the mini-max regret decision criterion and uh, show our work. So let's just, again, we'll just paste the, um, the table here. So this is the uh, minimax, minimax regret. And importantly, we need to kind of understand what the whole idea is about regret. So uh, regret is the difference between the payoff from the best decision and all other decision payoffs. So what that means is under each um, market condition, we have to identify what is the best possible alternative, and then we take the difference from there. So we can kind of understand the concept of regret through uh, regretting a decision or rejoicing a decision or be happy with a decision. So let's just explore this concept very briefly here with market condition A. If you were to select, if market condition A were to occur and you were to select van life, well, out of your three possible decisions that you could have picked from, either DIY, van life, or the cooking show, you would be very happy that you picked van life because that has the highest possible payout. In other words, your regret for selecting van life would be zero, okay? Your regret for all other conditions would be what your decision could have been relative to the decision you made. So in this case, what we get is regret and regret. But we can actually quantify what this is. So we can then say, well, if the best decision that we could have made was 14, that's right here, minus the decision that we got, which was 9, well, this is going to give us a regret of five. Same thing here. So if our best decision was 14 minus the decision that we got, which was 11, well, this is going to equal a regret of three. Okay, in market condition B, well, we notice that 10 is the best possible outcome. So in both scenarios, we'd have a regret of zero. So in this case, we'd picked van life 10 minus 7 is equal to 3, so there would be a regret of 3. In market condition C, the best possible outcome is 12, so the regret is 0. So then 12 minus 10 is equal to 2, and 12 minus 8 is equal to 4. Okay, then what we're going to do, since we're doing a mini-max regret, we're going to look at the maximum here and we're going to go five, three, and four are the maximum regret in each genre looking across the rows. And then what we're going to do since it is a mini max, so we're looking to minimize the maximum regret we're going to select the smallest value, that is three, so therefore, 
using a mini max regret decision criterion we would select van life okay and that's going to do it for this video and that's it for this video thanks for watching if this video helped make business analytics easy consider giving the video a like and if you need additional help with business analytics please consider subscribing to the channel i look forward to solving many more problems with you next time